Joined now by Kathy Rush. She's a Stoneman Douglas parent. So first of all, Kathy, thank you so much for being here. I know Welcome. it's a really difficult time. Welcome. Um, how are you doing and how are your kids doing? Um, I actually think my kids are doing better than I am. Um, they went back to school today and it was not a normal day. Um, it was a media and police circus there. So many police officers and I think with that police presence, it was probably the safest place in the world to be today. Well, I guess that must be a better feeling than what you've been experiencing of late. What about uh, just processing, you know, as a parent, after you dropped your kids off and in the stillness of your home when your kids are not with you, what was that like? Um, it, was, it was really hard. It was very, very disconcerting to me to drop my children off in that type of an environment where they're walking through the gauntlet of the news media and the police officers and the dogs and the donkeys and the horses and it's, it wasn't normal and this morning my ninth grader loves to read and he wanted to bring a book to school he's reading this miss peregrine's book and he asked me mom is it okay to bring this book to school and i was stunned because this is school why is he asking to be able to bring a book to school it shouldn't be that way mm. What kind of conversations are you having with your boys? I know you have one in ninth grade and one in eleventh grade. Right, um, not much. They don't want to talk about it much. I think they didn't see or hear anything, um, so they don't have a lot to talk about. Their friends do. I think a lot of their friends have a lot to talk about, but my boys don't seem to want to talk about it with me. Hmm. You have become known to people all around the world because of a, a picture that I know that you don't like. I know this is a tough picture for you to look at, but it was one of the first photos that we saw of parents, and you were still at that point waiting to find out what happened to your boys, and there you are. Um, I just wonder what you thought when you heard from the NRA spokesperson uh, who spoke here as part of that uh, town hall for CNN last week. Let's take a listen to what she said, and then I'd like to get your response. Many in legacy media love mass shootings. You guys love it. Now, I'm not saying that you love the tragedy, but I am saying that you love the ratings. Crying white mothers are ratings gold to you and many in the legacy media in the back. So she was at the town hall in Parkland, and then the next day she spoke at the uh, Conservative Political Action Committee uh, mm -hmm. meeting and said mm -hmm. those words. What did you think when you heard her say that? I thought she was very unsympathetic. Um, I thought it was disgusting and vile for her to say something like that. It was like she was diminishing our tragedy, our terror, our horrible, disgusting situation that we were in. She was diminishing it to ratings gold for the media. And for her to say that in front of all these people, I thought it was just vile of her, disgusting. Now, there's been a lot of talk about gun control. You have these two boys who are in the school. I mm -hmm. think people need to listen to what you have to say. What do you see as sensible gun control? Well, I am not one of those people that wants to come in and take everybody's guns away. But I think that we need to have common sense gun safety laws. Um, it's insane that an 18 year old can walk into a gun shop put down some money and walk out with an AR-15 that should never happen um, we need to eliminate these weapons of war these types of weapons are not civilian weapons these are weapons of war and they they destroy people destroy they don't just shoot through people they are shredding people it is meant to kill humans You're and wearing it shouldn't I'm sorry to interrupt you. You're wearing a bracelet, oh, uh, that, yeah. the same bracelet that was given to President Trump today by your congressman, Ted Deutsch, who was a part of that meeting at the White House. What did you think when you saw the congressman handing over that bracelet to President Trump? And, and if you had a message for President Trump, what would you like to say? Um, well, I don't know if he has the same bracelet. This one was given to me by the kids from Nova High School. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so they're, they're selling similar, them as a, a, similar, a bracelet. similar bracelet. Yes, um, I work at Nova, so the kids were so sweet to me. Um, a message for, for Mr. Trump. Um, just please work with us. Listen to these kids that are rising up and talking about this. Listen to these kids and the teachers who walked out of this tragedy, who crawled out of this tragedy, who some of them were carried out of that building. Listen to them. They have a lot to say. And I think that Mr. Trump would, would, would do a good job if he could listen to these kids. These kids have amazing things on their agenda. Very quickly before we go, how do you feel about having teachers or school personnel armed on campus? I don't know. I don't think I want my elderly math teacher having a gun. Um, however, I, I'm wondering if 
maybe some security personnel are well trained. I, I don't know. This is I think teachers that I've spoken to don't want this. Okay. Don't they don't want it. Kathy Rush, thank you very much. Thank you, thank Kathy. You. Our best to you and your family. Thank you.